Ukraine loses precious warplanes, Forbes named the most dangerous Ukrainian airfield. The Ukrainian Air Force base Dolgint Sevo is one of the most vulnerable bases in Ukraine. Located near Krivoy Rog, just 45 miles from the front line, the base is within range of Russian Landsat drones. Forbes writes that the Landsats carried out at least four strikes on aircraft in Dolint Sevo, two MiG-29s and two Su-25s. The first two strikes last fall took the Ukrainian Air Force by surprise. The third strike in November apparently hit a non-flying decoy aircraft although some experts believe that the plane was fully functional. The Ukrainian government knows that it has problems with air defense. President Volodymyr Zelensky said air defense is the biggest deficit. It is not for nothing that last month the Netherlands organized an emergency supply of radars and missile batteries to Ukraine. New batches of American Patriot and German Iris T anti-aircraft batteries were delivered. Depending on how the Ukrainian Air Force deploys these systems, Dolinkt Sevo could receive more reliable protection. For now, Ukrainian pilots may want to avoid the base. There are no obstacles to this, journalists write. With full tanks, the Su-25 flies several hundred miles. A subsonic attack aircraft does not need to fly from Dolinkt Sevo to get to the front line. The Ukrainian Air Forces has access to 20 major air bases, dozens of small airfields and highway airstrips scattered throughout the country. Moreover, Ukrainian pilots use unpredictability to complicate Russian target designation. Pilots almost never take off from an airfield and land at the same airfield, says General James Hecker, commander of US Air Force in Europe and Africa. The infrastructure and processes are in place to safely launch and recover the Su-25 from bases that are not subject to contact drone attacks. This will not protect low-flying and slow aircraft during risky attacks using unguided missiles, but it should protect them while they are on the ground before and after missions. The Ukrainians will not run out of Su-25s this summer or even this year. The Air Force entered the war with 30 fully serviceable Su-25s and another 13 that were undergoing major repairs. North Macedonia handed over four Su-25s and Ukrainian technicians restored and repaired approximately 30 old aircraft that had been in storage since the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, the material says. The replenishment more than compensated for the 18 Su-25s that the Ukrainians lost in battle. It is possible that the 299th Tactical Aviation Brigade, the only Su-25 unit in the Ukrainian Air Force, actually has more operational aircraft than at the time of the full-scale Russian invasion.